Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. Over the next couple hours, we're turning this stage into an awesome engineering show for their engineering expo. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna yeah. learn. Yeah. <laughs> the engineering expo is an annual event made to get kids interested in STEM fields like science, technology, engineering, and math. It's a big multi-day event and it's visited by big name companies like Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. There's also a ton of clubs on campus that participate, which reminds me I should probably be helping my team set up, but I'm going to wander around and see what the other teams have to offer first. Uh, I'm Zach Dabcock. This one is a t-shirt cannon robot that we built last year. How many PSI does that use? Uh, we keep 3,000 in the scuba tank. Three, two, one. Whoa. This one is this year's robot. This is a prototype right now. There it goes. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm with USF Racing. Uh, we design, manufacture, and test a Formula style vehicle. Uh, every single part on our car is suited design. Uh, we work with uh, professional industries where we get them manufactured for us. We analyze our car for the first half of the season and the other half of the season we go into manufacturing and testing. At the, in the, during the summer we go and compete in Brooklyn, Michigan and this year we're going to Canada to compete. Next up is the Chemical Engineering Club and they're doing a liquid nitrogen bomb under a ton of ping pong balls. Three, two, one. That was pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the inside of the building where they've got even more teams presenting stuff. So this is the USF Hackers Club. Let's go check that out. The first thing I saw when I walked in was a bunch of Boy Scouts learning how to pick locks, and I thought that was pretty interesting, so I wanted to learn more from the president of the club. So we are the White Hatters Computer Security Club here on campus, and our organization is designed around doing CTFs, which are capsule flag competitions. We do about 20 a year, and we're in top uh, 100 teams in, uh, in the world. So this is the coaster modeling enthusiasts of Florida, and I don't know about you guys, but that is the biggest Connects roller coaster I've ever seen. So I found the guy that made this. This thing is crazy. How long did it take to make it? About uh, three months. Three months yeah. to build? Wow. Do you know how many pieces this is? About 20,000 pieces. 20,000 pieces? That's crazy. This is the coolest Connects track I've ever seen. And I just found out that this guy's got his own YouTube channel too, so. Uh, be bomb be one. Be bomb you one. Yeah. And I'll put the link in the description and check them so, out. I'm with Manoj here, and he doesn't think riding this bike is so hard. You think you can? I play video games with this opposite, so I mean. Well, Manoj, no amount of video games or any other kind of practice will prepare you for riding a backwards bicycle. It's just impossible to do your first time riding it. I can do it though, and it took me about three or four hours worth of practicing time to do. That's the pony! <laughs> what? It's hard! I want to try that again. I want to try that Now it's time for our show. We open up the doors and the seats quickly fill up. First are the fire experiments. And the first thing we do is a fire tornado. Next up is a Rubens tube, and this device lets you visualize sound waves in probably the coolest way possible. We invite some kids on stage, and they really love it. <laughs> Next up is the propane Two, rifle. One. Did I miss? Yeah, you missed. Oh, wow. There's a drum kit that plays itself and does a rim shot on command. Two, two drums and a cymbal fall off a cliff. Get it? Don't do what we're about to do. It's not safe. Don't do it. It's dangerous. Don't do it at home. You should come to X Labs then! 
Now it's time for everybody's favorite, the Tesla coils, and we're going to start off with the smallest Tesla coil that you can touch with your hand. The first up is a small vacuum tube based Tesla coil. It operates at a really high frequency and doesn't really even shock you. Next up is the first musical coil. Alright, in three, two, one. So how many of you want to hear these Tesla coils play music? Three, two, one. Hey guys, at the end of the day, this was all about inspiring the next generation of scientists, and I hope you guys liked it, and I have inspired you to go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. See you next video. Bye guys!